My name is Bob King, of course you know, and I'm ANC Commissioner for 5A12. I have decided, as one of the longest serving commissioners, to push for the uh, people's resolution. Simply put, I mean, the resolution does not take a position for or against redefining uh, marriage in the District of Columbia. What it does is allows 400 and 411,000 folks, the voters, to come out and have their say as they've been doing around the country. So I just couldn't stand idly by and not let the will of the people be heard. And mine is simply, simply, the will of the people must be heard. Nothing more. I'm not talking about our own human rights, let the people decide. Civil rights, let's let them vote. Initiative or referendum cannot be neutral. That must take a position and ask the voters to vote on that position. So. Well, we'll get there when we, 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 we look at that when we get there. We're not even there. You know, I heard what the Board of Election says. I mean, the Board of Election already said that if you come back with an initiative that violates human rights, they're going to vote it down. An initiative defining marriage so as to exclude legally wed same-sex couples would not be permissible because it would violate the Human Rights Act in the same way as the proposed referendum to overturn the Jury and Marriage Act. An initiative or referendum may not appropriate funds, violate the Home Rule Charter, negate a budget debt, or violate the Human Rights Act. Women's suffrage, affirmative action, and the landmark civil rights legislation of the 1960s, including the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965, would not have become law if they were subjected to a plebiscite as you are proposing with the definition of marriage in the District of Columbia. Here's what I have for you right oh, here. Yes, I have the oh, Superior Court oh, decision. Oh, all right, I suggest all right. that you review that, and I also all right, have then the Board of more. Elections. All right, and I suggest that you look at the highlighted section. All right, section all right, okay. And you give me something to look at. Discussion about how this oh, is I like that. Now, when we when can me and you next week? You mm -hmm. call me. Okay. And we sit and have a little lunch. Okay. And we kick these two pieces around. Okay. I like that. All right. Now, now you're doing something. We held this meeting a little late today here to talk to the ANC representatives and community about um, the issue of democracy. We believe that what the city council did was anti-democracy. They did not give us an adequate opportunity to air our views. We're going to force a initiative on the city to allow every district resident to have a say-so on this issue of gay marriage. I think that the, that the majority in this case should have the right to vote on the rights of the minority. Well, that's two premises. First of all, we do not view the gay marriage as a civil rights issue. It's not a civil rights issue. It's not a civil rights issue. It's a group of individuals, less than 10% in any community, 20%, maybe 20% in this community, who want to impose this morality on the great majority. We believe that the radical gay movement do not like this institution here. And they are trying to literally destroy this institution. You cannot put human rights up to a vote, I don't think, uh, morally or legally, clearly in the uh, District of Columbia. And I think there's a lot of uh, misinformation out there and uh, pre prejudice against uh, gay people, where, uh, frankly, uh, same-sex marriage wouldn't affect their lives if they don't want to marry a man or a woman. 